Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And today, I have another breakup story to share. And if you have a breakup story you'd like to share, please visit writemac.com. Send in your story, and I'll possibly do a video just like this, reviewing your story and giving my take. I never mention names, but if you're wanting to write a longer story and get a more tailored response, I do do a private video response or live coaching session where we talk on FaceTime or Google Hangouts or Skype. So if you have a comment to help this individual out, please put it down below. If you like the video, throw me a like. If you really like the video, consider subscribing, possibly, maybe not, maybe so. Okay, let's get into it. So, hi, hi, a girl I dated a half year, for a half year, she is 26 and I'm, I'm soon to be 25, so you're the same age, good. Told me she thought she needed to see me in another way for a while, meaning only to be friends. Well, that serves her, I'm not sure if it serves you, and if you're not happy with that, then don't do it. You don't have to be a jerk, you don't have to be a dick, but you can just go, you know what, I don't really wanna be friends, I've never looked at you in that way, and it's not gonna work out, so in the future, if you wanna revisit things, we can do that, otherwise, I'm moving forward. I had read Corey Wayne's book and listened to his podcast before that because I had noticed she was losing attraction. Corey Wayne has some good stuff. I like Corey Wayne. And, you know, if you're looking towards him for gaining attraction, I think you're in a good good area or a good zone. Um, because I noticed she was losing attraction. Okay, attraction is always in the moment, especially if you're in a long-term relationship. So what I mean by that is you can never be 100% in high levels of attraction when you're with someone for a year, two years, three years. So your girlfriend can come home from work and she's in a pair of high heels and a nice skirt and her makeup's all done and you're thinking, wow, she's beautiful. And she could wake up the next day and be sick and not feel well and have no makeup on and, and you know have a sloppy shirt on and you're going, wow, she's really unattractive. So what happens is, is the more you're around each other, and you see each other's bad sides is less and less attractive. So you need to recreate moments of attraction. You also need to accept the moments when the attraction's not there when you're in a long-term relationship. However, it was too late to turn things around. And that's possible. Sometimes it is too late and you have to accept that and then you don't wanna overcompensate and try too hard, which is what a lot of people do. Still, I had learned how a breakup should be handled, so I kept my composure. Chest out and head back. I like that. Kept calm, looked her straight in the eyes, and told her that being just friends wasn't an option. Good for fucking you, as Corey Wayne would say, right? But to contact me if she changed her mind, I thanked her for the time we had, and we parted ways. We haven't talked since. It's not easy to do, but it's the right thing to do. I went straight into no contact. I've been in no contact for four weeks and two days, so you've been counting the days. It might be useful to know that we go to the same church, but there's 300 people there. So it's a big church. So you guys could sit in different areas. You're obviously not stalking her or sitting around her. So I'm able to avoid her without making it seem weird. Good. You should be, I mean, you don't want to go out of your way to avoid her, but you don't want to go out of your way to be in her presence and be creepy or, you know, she needs to wonder, oh, why doesn't he want to sit next to me anymore? Why is he just okay with not seeing me? A little mystery, as Corey Wayne would say, really serves you in this situation. So, so far, so good as far as what you're telling me. I will probably have a short accidental encounters, though. Those are fine, as long as you handle them with your head up, chest out, as you said, and, and in a neutral position where you're not trying too hard. If she says hi, you can say hi and keep walking. You don't have to be a dick, but you can be short and sweet, or you can just be short and calm. Mostly, she just gets to see me from a distance. My birthday is coming up, and I want to be prepared in case she sends me a birthday text. Um, okay, if you want to be prepared. I just don't like the idea when you're in no contact. You've got to get away from hoping and wishing and planning. you really got to focus on me moving forward, how I can be a more confident individual. What purpose or goal can I work on in my life that's outside of this ex? And if she contacts me, it's a bonus. I have heard Corey Wayne say that I should use the, that occasion if she contacts me directly to try to set a date. Yeah, if she does contact you, my point is don't sit around hoping and wishing because you're going to be highly disappointed if she doesn't. So don't be by your phone going, oh, shit. Is she? Like be busy on your birthday is what I mean. Be busy with your friends. Go do something like fishing or I don't know, go for a run. Be busy so that you're not waiting by your phone, creating anxious anxiety type feeling and and then when she calls or texts, maybe you're not just right by her phone. You might get back to her an hour later or 15 minutes later because you're actually really busy. And then you won't be so 
frantic, frantic when she calls or overcompensating. Yeah, if she contacts you and she's like, how you doing, how you been, I just want, if she just goes, happy birthday, hope you have a good day, I don't know if that's grounds to go, hey, did you wanna go out on a date? Okay, that's the thing about text, you can't really read body language. So if she contacts you and goes, hey, how have you been? How's everything been going? She's like, oh, everything has been great. It would be great to catch up with you this weekend. If you wanna go into that then, fine. If she just gives you something very short, I'm not sure. Always remember that if, she, if she's cold to you in some way, which women, once they're dug in on a breakup, men too, you, they've built a case. So they don't just reverse their decision by you, by you kind of conning them into it. That's why no contact works. They got to simmer on the idea that you're not going to contact them again. Now they have to come back to you. So if she does contact you, depending on the way she contacts you, you could set a date. However, I've been, a, I've been a bit skeptical because I feel like sending a birthday text is something she could do just because she feels like something she should do. Absolutely true. I don't know her as an individual. Like I said, if the message just said, happy birthday, hope you have a good day, I wouldn't just jump into, hey, let's get a bottle of wine, as Corey Wayne would say, and some dinner and go back to my place. I don't know if, you know, you certainly could. I don't know her as an individual. That, that would seem cheesy and a little bit pushy. Uh, other coaches suggest I should just apply with a short thanks. Yeah, you could. Like I said, if she's short with you, you definitely could. And appear indifferent. I would say appear, appear indifferent has value. If she hasn't contacted you in over a month, I would appear indifferent. I might even ignore the text if it was just happy birthday. If it's like happy birthday, how you been? And I really don't know how your relationship... I mean, she was losing attraction, yeah. So anything needy is something you don't want to go that way. Um, she's going to be surprised if you were indifferent or you didn't respond and that would create a little bit more mystery. You're not being a dick, but you want to show her that, you know, it doesn't, you weren't waiting for a text. Basically. I feel like if I try to make a date just because she sends a birthday text, it'll appear as though I'm just waiting around. Exactly. See, I don't read these before I go on. I don't have enough time. So that's exactly true. I would agree hundred percent, which I am not because I'm out. I ask out other girls in the meantime, even though I want her back. Yeah, bottom line is you need to be busy. You need to be spinning other plates. Read the book Rational Male, The Rational Male by Rollo Tomasi. That's a great start. Read the book Models uh, by Mark Manson. Those are two great books in your position right now. Uh, my plan is just to say thanks and wait to see. I wouldn't even say thanks, to be honest. If you're not sincere and you're, you're dating other women, I, I mean, you could say thanks or you couldn't. Either way, but I wouldn't just, she says, happy birthday, hope you have a good day, and it's really short. Uh, I would be very short on the other end or not say anything at all and wait to see if she's making conversation. If she's driving the conversation, I might try to set a date. Yeah, not a bad plan. You want to, you want her to be in your frame at some point. If not, I will just wait until the next time she contacts me and try to set a date. See, you, and see you say, oh, not that I'm waiting or anything, but you are. You've mentioned I'm waiting twice, and then you went, I'm not waiting. Well... You either are or you aren't, and you need to stay busy with other things. Where literally, if she contacts you, you go, oh shit, where did this come from? I was outside, you know, for a run for an hour and a half today, and, and you came back, and the text just came out of nowhere, and you go, oh nice, sweet, happy birthday, oh thanks. And it, it's totally sincere, it's not like you're trying to play some game. And if, you, if she contacts you and your heart starts jumping and pumping, you gotta settle down before you respond, because that's when the needy shit comes out. If not, I will just wait until the next time she contacts you and try to say the date then. What's your take? I just gave it to you. So I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com if you've got a breakup story to tell or if you'd like to book a live coaching session. Thank you for supporting the channel.